Hey everyone, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. It is the end of March. That means it's time for March footnotes. There's not too much to cover today. Um, I did have the numbers from the, um, the messy, rusty old Lego and then the kind of modern mix. So the old stuff, there was 1,164 pieces. Most of that was bricks. Uh, did get a decent mix of the old style windows right here actually so um, some of the regular 1x2x2 two two, and then some of the not as common 1x2x1 one one, kind of a shorter one there and then the other sizes 1x6x2 with the shutters and as well we had the 1x6x3 which is kind of a color window there so a good mix of those window pieces there were three of the old style printed bricks, so the 1x8 garage, 1x8 SO service, and 1x6 hotel. Um, they actually had quite a few different styles of serif and um, fonts that they did on these bricks. There's a, a pretty good variety of these to collect that goes back to the 60s, a lot of them exclusive to certain regions as well, so that's interesting just to kind of look into that a little bit. And then the modern kind of mix of pieces, there were 1,420 of those. So all together, about 2,500 pieces. It's not too bad. Um, a lot of the modern stuff I'd put at early 2000s and mid 2010s, kind of in that range. There was that Spider-Man um, would have been four plus, I think, back when that was released. So kind of the Jack Stone figure size with the Spider-Man there. Um, got those washed up, cleaned up a little bit. Um, one thing I did notice is the water here is more of like a hard water, so it's got more minerals in it and actually had more of an issue with the scaling when that evaporates off, it leaves behind some of that deposit on the pieces. So it's either going to have to be um, a more involved process to actually do some drying instead of just letting it evaporate or look into doing something with a different water source. I haven't really thought too much about how I'll be doing cleaning in the future because I haven't, so far it's just been that one lot that I've cleaned, um, but I did notice that the water here is a little bit more um, full of the minerals that will scale the pieces a little bit. So it just leaves that trace on there. So that's not super great, but um, it's just a little more work to do when I do have pieces that I want to clean. Other than that, I've been doing a lot of sorting. Um, I actually put out the sort report video, uh, which was pretty well received. So thanks for watching that, catching up a little bit. I've got my main groups here. Uh, I did work down one of those other tubs, so I'm down to just the last tub now. And when I get close to the bottom of that other bin, I'll probably do another update. Uh, maybe at that point I'll have an additional breakdown for some of these other groups where I'm actually going into more depth with the sorting process uh, but for now it's just kind of these uh, main categories that are getting sorted out and it's moving along it's not going too too slow just get some time in the evenings to work on that work through a couple couple thousand pieces here and there and before you know it halfway done so that's been going good um, other than that I guess cover the analytics for this month on the channel and there was uh, another something I was going to cover so let's check that out. Now when it comes to the stats for this month uh, we are down a little bit overall um, probably related to just a slower release schedule um, looking at the past two months compared to the past year have definitely been doing less with content. Um, and that's all right. I don't mind too much. We're still actually running some pretty decent numbers. The views overall about 16,000, which is a little bit of a drop. Um, YouTube Studio is putting in these percentages now. That wasn't there before. Uh, again, we did break 700 watch hours. So that's holding pretty close. Again, a slight drop. And then subscribers are down a little bit more, down 33%, but still adding 47 subscribers. Um, when we past 1500 overall. I did a little bit of a projection to see 
about when we were maybe going to hit 2000 and that came out somewhere in April um, so that seems like it's still pretty much on track uh, about 23 more subscribers and we'll be at 2000 so kind of a milestone coming up there pretty sure we'll be hitting that sometime in April coming up um, and then other numbers over here are concurrent 48 hour views that's always been about at a thousand sometimes up a little bit otherwise uh, it does dip every now and then and then the top five videos kind of cycle between the same top five um, digital designer tutorial has always been a heavy hitter that's still going strong the cleaning and mosaic videos both kind of have rose up through the ranks and look at some of the other top players this month or within the past two days looks like the studio tutorial um, the first job lot introduction the in-depth rare video has been doing pretty good uh, I think that passed 5,000 overall views recently and then um, one of the unscripted eBay videos I just log on to eBay see what's going on for sale um, and then we get to some of the more recent ones that get uh, some traction early on and then slow down a little so that's always been pretty steady nothing really irregular happening there and then ad revenue um, on our second year of running ads now about 25 bucks this month overall I think we're close to three hundred and forty dollars total since we started in February of 2021 so um, not enough to quit my job and run a YouTube channel full-time but it's uh, a decent amount so yeah thanks for watching those ads make a couple bucks on the side with this uh, the other thing to look at is the VLAB vertical Lego activity board uh, I accidentally skipped this in February um, so going back to January is when I introduced my project here basically it is just a month by month calendar uh, it's stacked every week so seven days and then repeats that's the vertical that's where the vertical comes from in the name and what I'm trying to do is keep kind of this ongoing record of what I'm doing with the Lego hobby day by day uh, so you can see January was pretty heavy in the blue here which corresponds to some mock projects and that actually did show on the channel I was posting a lot about those builds early on in the year uh, then getting into February, that slowed down quite a bit as I got moved and got settled in. Um, and then now here in March, a lot more with the maroon um, cleaning and sorting colors. A couple of purchases here and there, um, but really getting into the sorting of those loose pieces. Um, I think it'll be interesting, you know, once the year is coming to a close to actually zoom out on this and be able to see distinct periods of, um, you know, the, the early concentration of mock building and then that giving way to the sorting here and maybe you will be getting back into the blue later in the year um, or if I get you know another bulk lot uh, we'll see more of the maroon colors again so that'll kind of be a, a visual interpretation throughout the year um, just another way to look at the timeline instead of just looking at numbers in Excel so I thought I'd try to keep this going throughout the year and see what that looks like so far so good. Well, I'm sure you guys won't mind actually getting a sneak peek of that lot which is here. Uh, so that's coming up but I have this pulled out for this 8x8 plate. This is actually the first part that I have in this light lavender color. Uh, in terms of actually putting it on the chart this does not really fit my structure. Even if it did I'm kind of out of room. Um, going for the 2x4 layout here so if I get to the color chart this will probably be changing um, it hasn't exactly been my main focus recently which is why it's still static hasn't changed too much um, the next step here would be looking at you know not necessarily sticking with the 2x4 layout anymore a lot of the metallic stuff over here has already started to stray um, looking at a light bluish gray I'm actually doing a shield piece in that color one of the old brown colors I've got a Technic brick over here um, so it still fits kind of in a grid but I'm not 
being as strict about the 2x4 size anymore. Um, even down in this bottom row to get my Paradisa pink color in, this lighter pink, that's already breaking out of the grid a little bit. So it's probably time to uh, look at doing an update, just kind of reworking the layout, maybe getting another one of these white base plates and expanding into the transparents as well. Then I definitely have room for the light lavender color. And as I've been sorting, I actually found another uh, color that isn't on here. Somewhere in between this very light washed out and then the other lavender color from Friends, I think. Um, so kind of that, yeah, filling in that gap there. I just found a two by two corner in this other purple color. So it's more purple than I know what to do with. Um, but it all goes to the completion project here, slowly but surely, filling out the missing pieces of the color chart. So that's been building out. Uh, this guy will be the next topic. Um, the minifig shop in St. Louis, it's very similar to a bricks and minifigs, just not part of the franchise. They sell loose pieces by weight instead of a uh, certain volume. So I'll be covering all that in detail here pretty soon. We'll look at some of these pieces a little bit more. Um, but it did manage to get me a new color. So that was good. Uh, if you're watching this on the 1st of April, happy April Fools. The joke's on you because I published it uh, at the end of March. Just barely getting it in there. Um, but yeah, we are rolling in to April 22. Got some stuff on the way. Stick around. We'll see you there.